Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Doomlight and today we to my play for Hitman. So we're in the last uh, level of the first Hitman game. And yeah, we discovered that Eric Sodas, the guy who uh, didn't want us to get into ICA, is... Well, he's part of Providence, it seems. So we've got to take him out. It doesn't look too well in this particular shot, though. So let's get the briefing and see what's going on. Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Sodas for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has Providence written all over it. Soda's, who suffers from a rare condition known as situs inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. <laughs> As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Yeah. Sodas must pay for his treachery and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. Well, not that there's as much need to prepare, because, like you mentioned, you can't, like, you can't uh, get your gear in here yourself. You have to go in without anything. I think you can choose. I don't know, you can't even choose a smuggled item. You need to unlock a smuggled item. So, yeah. <laughs> and, yet yeah, you can't choose. Oh, no, you can choose other get ups. I'm going to go with the VIP patient one, though, just because it's fitting to the whole gimmick of what this level is which is you have to go in as like the, the patient so it only seems fitting that I go in with the the patient the, um, like gown basically Welcome to Hokkaido 47 The Gama Private Hospital provides cutting edge medical treatment for the global elite outside the law if required The facility is partially run by an artificial intelligence system known as Kai the AI oversees patient admission to various areas in the hospital and even participates in some medical procedures. You will find Eric Sodas in the operating theater, undergoing a pre-surgery regenerative stem cell treatment, a highly controversial procedure yet to be approved by Japanese authorities. Of course. <laughs> Yuki Yamazaki has already arrived. You'll find her in her suite or roaming the restaurant and spa areas of the hospital. Sodas is scheduled to be put under soon. Let us make sure he stays that way. <laughs> Indeed. Good luck, 47. <laughs> Just chiller. This is cool and all, 47. You look incredibly... at peace. Determined. Uh, eager. Hard to tell. Hello, Mr. Reaper. As part of the service here at Gamma, your personal room has been outfitted with a radio frequency identification chip. The cool. device will unlock and allow access to your personal suite. Cool. Okay. So then, we have absolutely nothing besides the camera because that's just standard gear that you always have. Uh, I mean, I might as well just examine that. I think it just gives you intel. Yeah, intel. Right. Hello, rubber ducky. Already in disguise. It's not really disguise, is it? Well, there you go. That's nice. Scissors. Got something at least. Wink. Right, okay. Yeah, it's uh Hey, how you doing? Determined by your disguise, I think your access to areas. 
Right, okay, let's head... I'm assuming, can I go this way? I can, yes. Good evening. Mm, sushi. Hello. Any story missions available here in the sushi restaurant? Any? Hey, nice threads, buddy. Oh, thank you. Oh, I have one question, and I need your honest opinion. What's your take on the global situation? Because I have to admit, I'm lost. There's... Nothing, no? Opening a sushi restaurant, got anything interesting to say? Because <laughs> you're not important enough, buddy. No one around here want to tell me anything now? I thought I'd have to go to the screen and select one. I want to be able to find one. Legit. There we go. Purification, it's happening. 47, I have Sex. intel about that bandaged patient. <laughs> well, this is quite fascinating. The bandaged patient is Jason Portman, former CEO of Quantum Leap. According to my intel, he has undergone full facial reconstruction and is scheduled for bandage removal today. And get this, he's going for the full Helmut Kruger look. Huh. <laughs> okay. Shut up, yes, two weeks from now. I could be the one on a podium in Paris, and nobody would know the difference. Cheekbones to die for. Cut glass, baby. Almost a shame you won't get to enjoy them, am I right? Am I right? Hmm. Shut up the gym. I don't have time for that. My good friends here have a plan for that as well. Full body graft. Muscle implants. Why wait for months or years when surgeons have endless amounts of money that I have can make it happen in weeks. Screw the natural way. That's the oh. Shut up, I bet you would. Maybe I'll call you when I get back to LA. Okay, we'll see. Bye, Stacy. Right, okay. Go somewhere secluded so I can, you know, get those bandages off your head. I like my robe better than yours, guy, I'm just saying. Yeah, I could do like a, a swag walk as well. Oh, don't mind me intimidating that guy, sir. Where are you going? Good evening. Oh, hello. Very observant of you, noticing us coming you know, from you know, behind your head. Hi. Hello. Everyone here is so nice. It's a shame I'm about to kill some people here. Oh, come on, come on. Why is this taking so long? Do they know who I am? I mean, you're walking, for starters. That's, you know, one indication of like, why it's taking so long. You're walking to where you're going instead of, you know, jogging or something. And also, because you're not going somewhere secluded, so I can, you know, make this go a lot quicker. Oh, you're talking about the, the like the surgery and stuff. Oh, right, that. Well, you know. Damn it! <laughs> this other guy. Doc probably got stuck with some old hag with wrinkles down around her ankles. Vaginal rejuvenation or something. I'm sick of waiting around. Come on, hurry up with the boob job or whatever you're doing in there. Hmm. Don't have to... Hmm. Now, who's going to investigate the distraction? Shut up, Helm... No. Wait, you're not Helmut. Hey, bad form, dude. You stole my idea. Huh. Hey, look, asshole. Maybe you can find someone else to emulate. 
How about, uh, I don't know, Jordan Cross? He's hot, right? Wow, this is super embarrassing. Uh, at least we don't attend the same social circles. <laughs> Hello, sir. Shut up, we don't, right? <laughs> no. I've got connections. I can make you disappear for good. Wow. He really, uh... <laughs> Doesn't like the fact that I look like him. <laughs> Mr. Director, there you are. I'd like to see you in the Winter Garden shortly. No, that was my chance, though, to get him. All secluded, like. Mr. Jason Portman. Or Genki Deska. Please come to the hospital entrance. A doctor will escort you to your checkup. That was for Mr. Jason Portman. Crap, have I missed my opening? A doctor will escort you to your appointment. Please proceed to the hospital entrance. Okay, enough of the waiting game. Good evening, Shut sir. Up. Your suspense is killing me. Oh, excuse me, sir. I'm going in. Crap, if I don't catch him now, it's going to be it, isn't it? It's going to miss my chance. Yeah, it's gonna see this person here, and that's it, isn't it? Ah, oh, Mr. Portman. Yeah, I thought so. I'm gonna see. Do I have a? Might just reload because I I know how to get this guy. I saw the opening. I just didn't know how to make use of it. Yeah, here we go right here. Daily checkups, they said. Better call my name soon or I'll buy the whole place and fire everyone. And have them killed. Hey. Right, I don't know if this is gonna work. You might just see me and be like, okay. Right, I gotta turn that off though, otherwise someone else will come and investigate it. There you go. Okay. Okay, that worked a lot better this time. Oh, the bandages as well. Yeah, quite icky. But in theory, this should be the perfect disguise. You know, because who's going to be able to see my face? Yes, I am Please that guy. Please proceed to the hospital entrance. Ah, oh, Mr. Portman. Perfect timing. Follow me to the consultation room, if you please. You must be eager to see the new you. <laughs> I think it's even that they... Mr. Portman is with me. No need to bother him with unnecessary you, security measures. You're in good hands, Mr. Portman. Gama is such an incredible place. The medical facilities are beyond anything I've ever seen in the world. Well, with the exception of perhaps Kronstadt HQ or Ether's R&D facility in Johannesburg. I think it's usually they put the bandages off and see that it's like, you know, so, me. <laughs> tends to heal pretty quickly, but I understand yours was quite extensive. Don't worry, though. We've got the best facilities here. You'll get those bandages off in no time at all. Yeah, and you'll see not not the same person. <laughs> so, you know, that's kind of the whole point. We've got a new yoga instructor here. JB. Boy, he can stretch like a rubber band. Never seen anything quite like it. If you're feeling sore and the meds aren't doing it for you, you should really go see him. Cool. Nice suggestion. So what's the point of this? Is this just to get me into like deeper into the hospital? Really Past all the guards. I'm guessing that's kind of like what the idea of this is. Okay, Mr. Portman, your surgeon is in here. He should be ready for your checkup. Have a nice day. Smart way to get inside, 47. Yeah. Well done. 
Mr. Portman, thank you for waiting. If you can just sit down for a moment, I'll get started right away. Of course. Uh... So, let's have a look at you, Mr. Portman. I'll be still as I remove the bandages. Oh. Oh my. It's... It's, it's astonishing. <laughs> Not only are you the spitting image of Helmut Kruger, the... The swelling has completely subsided, and there's not a trace of bruising. Amazing, isn't it? If I didn't know any better, I'd, I'd say he'd never undergone surgery. It's, <laughs> it's perfect. It's simply perfect. I'm, I'm sorry. This is, uh, this is very emotional for me. <laughs> so I, I got a new disguise as Howard Kruger just then. Damn. Right, now thing is, I'm assuming I'm going to pop a save down just because. I'm assuming what you want me to do is this. Oh. Um. Yeah, figured, figured as such, figured that might happen. Right now, get in there quickly. Nope. Who is actually seeing me when I'm doing this? That guy there. Oh, no, don't save, 47. The reason I'm loading this so many times because I hate it when you literally get caught by that. The, like the tiniest little thing which in this case is that guy right there what it's moving right now right okay so There you go. Okay, there you go. That's what I wanted to do. I promise I won't load up my saves as often as I normally do. Uh, hmm. Have a great night, Doctor. Thank you. Now, the main question is, now that I'm in... Where am I going? I'm in like deeper in the lab with the disguise, just gotta figure out what I'm actually doing with it now. Hmm. That is Eric Soders, former training director at the ICA. Oh, damn it, camera. Right. I think I want to be in there. To potentially tamper with stuff. How does one get in there? Ah. Warning. Operations procedure overwritten. Warning. No vital signs detected. Commencing resuscitation procedure. Charging defibrillator. Ready. Three, two, one, clear. So it's gonna actually save him. Damn, this place is really good.
Resetting operations procedure. Mm. I don't know if I keep messing with it though. Warning. Operations procedure overwritten. Warning. No vital signs detected. Ah, not allowed in there, damn it. Oh, oh god, yeah, you're on notice, sir. Uh. He was a floor below me, though. Yeah, that's it. I think that's going to succeed every time because of how high tech this place is. All right, he's right in there. There's no chance I'm like getting in. Good luck, doctor. Right. Hmm. Right, that guy. Evening, Doc. That's a yeah, there's nothing, no one in here, that's no, sir. Hmm. Ah. Drain the stem cell pump. Warning. Stem cell treatment. Commencing resuscitation procedure. Charging. No way. Good. Patient is recovering. Vitals are stable. Crisis averted. Hmm. Mr. Soda seems to be going through stem cell injections faster than normal. Guess I better get another canister. Oh. No, you don't, miss. Okay, now the issue with this. Ah. Uh, is that a place to hide someone? I think it is. Whether or not I can actually get you down here. Hmm. Let's turn off the examination room spotlight. Interesting. Well, they're not looking this way. Hmm, okay, well, I mean, I've disabled this. Does that mean that there's something in there, maybe, that I need to deactivate as well? Hmm. Stairway in there. No. I'd literally have to go right in front of where that guy is there. Hmm, maybe if I... I think it'll give me enough time to do it though. I think maybe if I act deactivated the thing that's up here. I think. I don't even know if that's the guy that comes out to. Nah, he's still on the panel over there. Have a great day, Doc. Ah, 
Oh, there's a thing over there, though. Mr. Sodas is coming back. Situation under control. Resetting operations procedure. Okay. Warning. Life support terminating. How are you, Doctor? Oh, good, thank you. Right, there's the notice, sir. Charging defibrillator. Ready. Three, two, one. Clear. Huh. I mean, if so, I mean, there's nothing to worry about. Good. I think I need to deactivate something there, maybe. A timely intervention, Good Life job. Support. Hmm. Well, this this goes for a safety save, I think. Yeah, this is just immediately trespassing. Oh, damn it. Okay, but that's how I get him to go in there. So if I go back in here, to activate his respirator. Jesus, doctors, how have they not clocked on at something if he's going on? Yeah, this guy comes rushing out. Damn it. Forty-seven. I have intel regarding the pilot. Oh, I managed to gather intel from the hospital's security system. The chief surgeon, Nicholas Laurent, seems to have frequent rendezvous with a helicopter pilot near the remote personnel exit. And rumor has it that the chief surgeon suffers from trembling hands. Interesting. Okay. Is this a hospital or a resort? Okay. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to be able to drag your body up to a uh, sneak spot, so... Oh, wait a minute. Am I going to... Oh, wait. I think I see where this is going. So, the guy needs... Oh, yeah. Body found. Fair enough. He's... The <laughs> yeah, doctor guy needs his pills for his uh, shaky hands, but he's not going to have them for the operation, so he's going to mess it up, because it's a very delicate procedure. This could be a problem. Why are you a noticer? Nobody saw anything. Yeah, I need you to stop being a noticer right here. So I can, uh, you know, talk to the chief surgeon. 
Nails, I, uh, need another pill. The effect is waning. This way, Doc. I'll show you where my stash is. Hi. Hey, I get it. You're not an errand boy. Lead the way. Um. Mm. Could get out of that knuckle dragging habits. That is. Okay. That's it. Come on over here, dude. Now, nobody see me. Should provide you with the means to get close to sodas. Cool. Now, I just need to get back because that guy's there. I think. Yeah, we go. This guy is still a nerd, sir. So is that guy. Extract blood. Inject cardiac syringe. Activate robotic arm. Zaki awaits. Thanks, that was a vicious takedown. Jesus. And took way too long as well. Here is she. She's out here. How do I get outside from here? I don't think I've got any story missions for her yet. And honestly, I'm going to be playing this level for a long time. So... I could just kill her with... I've got scissors. <laughs> Yuki Yamazaki, former lawyer to the Yakuza and current operative for Providence. Hello there. Yeah, you know well, I'm gonna try something. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. No, get the. Hey, what's going on? We need to stop the homicidal maniac. That's Go both targets down. Time to find an exit. We're done here. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it, it was not really, like, satisfying story mission-wise, but, you know. <laughs> Nobody saw it, it was me. And to be honest, to, like, you know, that 
the soda kill took me about 40 minutes to actually get right, so... <laughs> I don't have all day to try and play the missions. That was the last story mission of uh, Hitman 1, though. I'm surprised I got two stars on that, to be honest. <laughs> Man. The <laughs> shurikens. Nice. Miss Burnwood. That's not what my ticket says. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. There'll be no retaliation, not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. Someone's been meddling in our affairs, killing our operatives, and making the ICA look like fools. I think you got close to that someone, closer than we've ever been. That's why we're hiring you to take him down. I don't think so. Don't rattle our cages, Miss Burnwood. You really have no idea. You spy on us, bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. No. You can't be trusted. Even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. In his own special way, he cares about you and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor, some Depraved experiment. But he's gone now. Ah. Well, if you believe the questions died with him, we have nothing further to discuss. If not, as I said, I think we could help each other. Partners, then. Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We, <laughs> we are the lesser evil. This oh, you terrorist, know. he wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Burnwood, we won a long time ago. This, <laughs> this is maintenance. Yeah, see, that's why you're not the lesser evil here, dude. Yep, that's how the first Hitman game ended. Man, what a tease. <laughs> so yeah, hope you enjoyed this uh, this, this episode. If you did, leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already won, that's slap subscribe button. It's totally free and helps the channel grow. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.